We're all about patient care. Um, so what we do is repair and calibrate medical equipment for the hospital. Uh, we take care of uh, four GSUs, uh, GK, Kleinerbrogel, Vokel, and Buschel. We take care of them uh, as well as we have a WRM mission for war reserve material. Um, and so for the clinic, we have about 1,300 equipment items that we take care of. So yeah, it's all about equipment maintenance for us. We fix medical equipment and dental equipment. Um, basically what that means is anything that the doctors touch to take care of patients, if it breaks or it, um, a lot of times it needs regular maintenance to make sure it continues to run properly, then we come in and we take care of it. Our job affects the rest of the med group by really being the support for them without their equipment ready to go, they're not able to do their job. So if I'm not diligent in what I do and making sure that equipment is ready and safe for patient care, they can't provide the patients the care that they need. As a biomedical equipment technician, our job is to maintain, calibrate, and repair all the medical equipment here in the facility. The importance of this job is Every single piece of equipment touches a patient in one form or another. If a piece of equipment isn't properly maintained or calibrated, it can cause patient uh, harm. Uh, if something is completely broken, that can completely stop patient care. So there's been a couple times where something broke and it was a complete work stoppage, so I had to get that taken care of. My favorite part about this job is every time there is a repair, uh, it's something new. It's never the same issue. It's kind of like a puzzle every single time. It's always fun. It's rewarding because it's very self-gratifying because you see the end product after you get the job done. And knowing that you did a good job is always a, a good feeling too. Everything and anything that can touch a patient is equipment that we have to work on. It is one of the most important jobs in the clinic because if it's not done well, then someone can get hurt or someone won't be able to get seen at, at all. It's our job to make sure that everything that does touch a patient is safe and reliable. I was a certified machinist before I came in the Air Force, and that's what I joined the Air Force for. And I failed the depth perception test, so they told me I couldn't do it. Uh, so I put this as my number one job, and uh, I got it. I went to a uh, vocational technical high school uh, where I learned machining. That's where I got certified. Uh, I liked it a lot better than just every week is academics. Uh, the way it was set up, it was one week shop class, one week academics. Uh, and my, my dad was a welder, welder and fabricator, and I liked working with him on the weekends, and uh, it's just something I always enjoyed. I'm just giving that a minute until the capacitors lose charge. So day to day can be Easier or hard, I guess, for us, because we have the scheduled maintenance, the unscheduled maintenance. We could walk in and the, the washer could be down again, and that's priority one. We have to drop everything we're doing and go fix that. Uh, the days with just scheduled maintenance is pretty simple. It's straightforward. You know what you have to do. Uh, go out and do it, calibrate the equipment. I would say it's a high visibility job inside the hospital. So if I go to each section, everyone knows who the BMETs are. We know everyone in every section around the hospital, which is kind of unique to our job, unless the sections work with each other. Uh, outside the hospital, I'd say it's kind of low visibility. I have a lot of people say, I didn't even think that would be a job. Nobody ever thinks of who maintains the equipment. They just go and get checked and know it works. Senior Airman Brandon Hernandez Rodriguez. And what I'm doing here in Resolution Sentinel is working on medical equipment repairing them, fixing them, performing preventive maintenance, and calibration. And our day-to-day, -day, honestly, is going into that hospital, whether it be the air base or whether it be the public Peruvian one, and we just tell them, show us your broken equipment. Bring it to us. We'll fix it. Whether we've seen it or not, we will look at it. We will give it our best, and we will try our best. So my position while we're here, we're part of the 346 Expeditionary Operational Medical Readiness Squadron, and I am the senior enlisted leader for the Embedded Health Engagement Team here in Iquitos. So the doctors mainly that we have, they're working either in OBGYN, emergency medicine, ophthalmology, to, to work with them to provide care. The ophthalmologists are hoping to do surgeries to provide cataract um, repair for a lot of the population. From my opinion, I think it's gone well. 
I think the fact that we're able to look at so many patients, fix so many equipment and actually help them, it's amazing, especially when you see all the people that have been waiting for us to come here. And knowing that we're actually here to help them, it, it really changes their demeanor. I think it really does wonders for the uh, Peruvian populace as well.